In tonight's Keeping It Green segment, we hear more about climate change from one of the world's top climate scientists. This time, we throw the spotlight on hummingbirds. The word yiret means hummingbird in the original Amerindian language. They believed these mysterious birds housed the souls of the ancestors. The hummingbird is an important symbol of the country, seen on the national coat of arms, currency, and passport. The Caribbean has 15 species of hummingbirds native to the Caribbean, which are being impacted by human activity. As the environment warms, some hummingbirds' species are changing their behavior, according to climate scientist Shoba Mirage. So what studies have noticed is that during the hottest part of the day, they are actually um, trying to find shady areas and just like rest and wait. And this is really very dangerous for hummingbirds. I mean, if you ever notice a hummingbird, they are constantly flying. So you're talking about wing beats of like up to a thousand wing beats per minute. And that means that they need to be constantly feeding. So as a result, if they stop feeding for a, a, you know, a long period of time and, they, and they're just sitting in the shade waiting for it to get cooler, this can have a serious impact on, on their health, you know, their, their mortality and, and that sort of stuff. So the species that can, they're either, either moving polewards, so to, towards the cooler regions or upwards up mountains. And that's, we're already seeing this happening, like all across the world, islands, continents, everywhere. Hummingbirds are very specific to, they have a very, what we call it like a mutualistic relationship with, with plants, with flowers. So for example, if a hummingbird shifts from a lowland, say to somewhere in the mountain, and that particular set of flowers that it feeds on doesn't really exist as much up there, then it's gonna have a problem sourcing enough food, which could lead to population declines and, make, and, and you know, making it more vulnerable as well. Loss of habitat, either natural or man-made. Hurricanes can destroy forests, flooring plants food sources for hummingbirds. So if you even if you notice like a few different hum, some, hummingbirds, some of them have very long beaks, some the shapes are slightly different. And these are actually, if, you know, there's a core evolution to specific flowers that they feed on. So when, if these flowers are no longer around or as abundant, then their food source, their ability to access this nectar that they need to feed is becomes drastically reduced. And this directly impacts the, um, the population. It is hoped that much more would be done to preserve our environment and by extension, our wildlife. I am Gio Loren Gomez, keeping it green for TTT News.